What's up guys, I'm Stuart Banford and this is The Lowdown, your new weekly update on the latest country music news. So first things first, Carrie Underwood is set to release her sixth album, Cry Pretty, on the 14th of September. Now, she's actually been involved in the co-writing of nine of the 13 tracks, including the powerful title track, Last week, Carrie revealed that she and her husband, former Nashville Predators ice hockey star Mike Fisher, are actually expecting their second child. She also revealed dates for her Cry Pretty 360 tour, which will begin next May in North Carolina. She'll be joined on the run by openers Maddie and Tay and Runaway June. She'll also be performing next month at the first ever Long Road Festival of Country, Americana and Roots in Leicestershire. And in November, she'll once again co-host the Country Music Awards in Nashville for the 11th time time with Brad Paisley. Up next, an Oscar-winning actress, Reese Witherspoon, is spotlighting the success stories of women in her new series, Shine On With Reese. In the latest episode, she's joined by Casey Musgraves, who over cocktails in Music City, voiced her frustration at the lack of female voices on American country radio. You know, you look at like the chart and you see like a very a big lack in like female voices, so you're like, right. I don't, is it? And diversity. Exactly. One thing that I've experienced as a woman on this path is that I could be meeting the same radio station people or people in the industry that a man is, a, ma a male artist, and there's an extra pressure on me to be accommodating and nice and like, you know, massage their ego. And when I don't come through on whatever their idea is of that, then yeah. I feel like my music suffers from that, as in um, how far it will go on the radio. Way to go, Casey, standing up for the ladies. Now, she recently finished a run opening for Harry Styles in America, and she'll bring her own headlining Oh What A World Tour to the Waterfront Hall in Belfast on Monday the 5th of November. And finally, Old Dominion are set to play a charity concert at the iconic Ryman Auditorium in Nashville on September 18th. Speaking through a press release, the group's lead singer Matthew Ramsey has described it as a bucket list venue and says the group's journey over the past couple of years has taken them all over the world to some truly huge venues, but every time they come home to Nashville, there she is and they can't wait to hit that stage. Old Dominion are currently opening for Kenny Chesney in America, but they'll embark on their own Happy Endings World Tour in October, which arrives at the Empire Music Hall in Belfast on the 1st of November. They'll have support on the night from Walker Hayes. That's you up to date. I'll have more country music news for you next week. I'm Stuart Banford, giving you the lowdown.